What's up, everybody? It's your girl, the real Mrs. J. And it's early and my voice sound crazy. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, the real Mrs. J. And I just wanted to talk about begging on YouTube and social media. So this is, you know, we, you know, we got a lot of beggars and, uh, sympathy and payola folks right here in the beef sector but this is an ongoing problem all over youtube so it's this couple that i look at right i i found them on um i just ran across them on um tiktok right and um they uh one of the girls so it's two females and one of the girls She's transitioning. Well, she's really transitioned because I didn't even know that it was a girl until they showed like this, you know, that little video where everybody was showing like there were couples and how they started like real young. It go like, um, some people go around the world for love, but they can never find what they dream of. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay, so I saw them in that, and it showed, I was like, damn, she was a girl? Like, <laughs> but anyway, you guys, so, you know, whatever. Do you, it ain't got nothing to do with my life. So, um, so they were uh, talking, I hadn't seen them in a while. So anyway, they, they had got like a, a pretty good following on TikTok. So in all fashion, everybody who gets a following on TikTok, they always um start a youtube page i mean that's where you're gonna make the most money anyway so they started a youtube page so um i was looking at the youtube page because they would do like pranks and stuff like that and games or whatever so then um so i hadn't seen them in a while you know on youtube you know out of sight out of mind you just be like okay so i didn't even notice that i hadn't seen them you know post for a while so i'm sitting there i'm looking at them and they was like um talking about how you know where they been and how why they haven't been consistent on youtube and so um i know in the beginning when i first started watching them they were homeless right they were living in the shelter and so the girl i think one of them she was like doing hair or whatever i the other one, I don't know what was going on. She was transitioning, but I don't recall her having a job or nothing like that. So, um, they, so fast forward, um, they were saying that they, you know, they're back or whatever. And, you know, they had moved into an apartment. And I saw that they had gotten an apartment and it was, you know, furnishing it or whatever. So they was asking for help to furnish their apartment. So they were saying, you know, it wasn't good. Things weren't going fast enough. So the one girl, she decided that she was going to go out and get a job just to furnish their apartment. So she said that uh, she worked and she furnished the apartment. And so she worked for three months. And then right after they had... Um, after she had furnished the apartment, she quit the job. And so the other one was like, yeah, see, that's why we don't want to uh, work for anybody because, you know, they don't treat you right and the pay wasn't good. And I'm sitting there like, okay, but y'all don't got no money though. And still they was like, yeah, and you know, so now, you know, we want to go back full time on our social media um, platforms and um so then they started talking about their car and it was like yeah and then we lost the car but y'all around here quitting jobs and the other one just flat out ain't working talking about they don't want to work for nobody but you expect for people that do work for people to donate to y'all cause while y'all sitting over there being lazy fuck out of here that's what i'm talking about why do people, why do, why are people okay begging on social media? Like I see if you have a legitimate 
reason why you need some money like you know school you want to pay for your um, semester at school or something like that somebody's sick you and you know because life insurance don't kick in until after the person dies so you still gonna have to maintain when the person alive and they real sick so i see why people they come up with like gofundmes for to help them pay medical bills and stuff like that so yeah i get situations like that but just because you don't want to work for somebody or you want to furnish your apartment but you but so you go to work for three months and then you like all right i got it furnished i'm quitting my job and then you looking at us Giving us a sob story about how y'all lost y'all car and yeah, this this I'm telling you, this begging, this begging, oh my god, like it is at an all time high on YouTube, and it don't make no sense. People need to goddamn go to work. They need to do something, start a business, you know, do something. You can't just depend on people. Like it's not fair to people who are willing to go out here and work and sacrifice. You want their money, but you don't want to do the same. You got to be kidding me right now. <sighs> we just live in a broke bitch society. But anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to talk about that, y'all. Nothing big, but I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, The Real Mrs. J. I appreciate you all, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.